going to talk about today, and I'm going to give you the instructions at the beginning of this video, so you won't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. However, I'm sharing key information about how different types of yarn affect your sizing, so you may want to stay tuned. The simple instructions are that you're going to create a tube approximately 24 inches long. For a reversible style, you're going to need to use two different yarns. After you remove it from the machine with a basic bind off, you'll gather both ends tightly. And then you stuff one inside the other for a reversible hat. Hey everybody, it's me Margaret and I'm coming to you today with a requested video by Barry Gibson. Hey Barry. He liked this hat that I had done earlier on my Addy Express and was asking about it because of the, the qualities that it has. If you see it's kind of firm, you know, and it is definitely different than, than uh, some of the hats that you'll see demonstrated on a lot of the YouTube videos. And the reason has to do with the yarn. Now, as you can see, you can't change the gauge on an Addy machine. These things are so far apart and they're, that's all you get. And there's no choices on that. So the only thing you can do is change what type of yarn you use on the machines. Now, depending on what size yarn or the qualities the yarn has will determine what kind of hat you get. I mean, you'll see this is very floppy, okay? It's only one layer. Uh, didn't have a brim. It's a rolled brim. This is one of the minion hats that I did on the Addy. It was one of the extra ones. Um, long story. But anyway, uh, you'll see that the weave is very loose. I mean, you can, you can see my fingers through there. Okay, it was a thinner yarn. Somewhere close to a three, though it calls itself a four. This is a red heart yarn, and I think this is probably um, a good example to show you because it's pretty readily available most everywhere. Um, those who can't get Red Heart have probably uh, seen something or have something similar to it that they are aware of. And you can see that this is a little thicker, but you can still kind of see through it. And again, I just used a rolled brim on this little zebra hat. Now, this one is a double layer using Vanna's Choice, and that to me is the ideal yarn to use on an Addy. It's the, and when I'm saying ideal yarn, I'm talking um, inexpensive acrylics. And Vanna's Choice is a little bit thicker than your typical uh, four worsted acrylics. Now, when I say doubled, I mean I did a long tube and put half of it inside of this tube. Then I attached it and put a, a pom-pom on the top. But it is only one strand of fabric here. And it's a good good thickness. I really like this one. Now this is Karen Simply Soft and it's very floppy. Okay, it cannot hold its shape. Um, the thickness is good but you just have to be prepared that the quality of this yarn, and when I say quality, I'm talking about descriptive words, not poor quality versus, you know, high quality. I'm talking about its uh, descriptions, the, the things that make it what it is. And this just happens to be a very soft yarn without a whole lot of, of body to it. And so it's, it's just going to be floppy no matter, you know, how you look at it. This is doubled. Again, it was a long tube where I took one end and I stuffed it inside here and attached this on top. Um, and of course, you can roll it up to have a brim, which is desirable. It's a great style, but it's still not going to be firm like this one. See, it's standing up by itself. Now, how did I get that? Well, this is two strands of it's had a number four worsted, but you know how worsteds are. Uh, different brands are actually different in their cylindrical width. This is a wonderful blog that did a comparison among number four worsteds. It's just a bunch of common types here. 
and she shows you, she lays them all out, and well, you might be able to tell a slight dis difference in some of them. It's really not that noticeable until you begin working with them. Same hook size, but look at the difference in, in uh, same pattern and same hook size, but you can see the difference in the finished product. And so here she did the same thing and then flattened the sample. And you can truly see the difference. Uh, for example, this is Bernat Satin here. Karen Simply Soft, uh, no, Red Heart Soft is the brown. Karen Simply Soft is the blue. And this here is Venice Choice, which is what I think works beautifully the best on um, the Addy Express. And then this last one, what is it? Uh, Loops and Threads Impeccable. Look at the difference between these two. So it's really something to keep in mind when choosing your yarn and deciding whether you want to double your threads or not, even though it says they're number four worsted. So this one happened to be a little bit thinner than I had hoped, so I put two strands with it. It was one of those Big Lots yarns that you get. And Big Lots has some quality yarn, but the crazy thing is, is they don't know what it's made of. So you have these generic labels on it that says, contains blah, 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 and you're feeling it and you're going, this has wool in it. You know, you're, you're quite aware. Or this has cotton in it. it, and it's not even listed on the label. So it's surprise yarn. So using the two strands of this, I got a thickness I did the same principle where I did a big long tube and stuffed one side in, in the other and then rolled it up. So it is a nice, cushy, warm, wonderful hat. Now I would love to be able to give you a simple Addy recipe uh, for this hat to say, um, put your yarn on there and do 200 rows and poof, you have the perfect adult size hat. But it doesn't work like that. And it's all because of the yarn. And let me show you an example. I measured this. This hat fit me really well. And so I measured it and it came out to be like something like 11 inches from here to here. And I thought, oh, okay, great. So I put some yarn on my machine and I tried to measure best I could without stretching. And it came to 11 inches, but this is what I got. Now my lighting's not good, but you can see here the difference in the size of the hats. Um, I have this on my measuring board here, and it's basically one, two, three, four inches different. Uh, however, I measured this when it was on the Addy, and I thought that it was right. So in order to make my second hat fit like this one, my cuff has to be this big. <laughs> That's just not attractive. So I'm going to take it apart, which is the beauty of working with yarn craft, make some improvements. Now, what I thought would be a good idea to help me in the future is to write it down and to kind of keep a log of how things did. So for example, I took some of this yarn, which happens to be, what is it called? Deborah Norville Everyday Soft Worsted, okay? It is very similar to a Simply Soft, a Red Heart Soft, or the Bernat Satin. You know, they're all kind of cousin yarns, if you will. And uh, so any of those would probably have the same recipe for the Addy, how many rows that you would do. So what I'm going to do is kind of keep a log and determine if that's the case. And at least it would give me a starting point for me to figure out instead of being so far off like I was on this one. So um, it'll kind of be of an, an experiment and I'll just have to let you know as I go. I did 75 rows thinking that I had it right. So what I'm going to do is 65 rows using my frogged stuff, one color, and 65 rows of the other color to make this one big long tube. Now I've just completed my 65 rows and if I wanted for it to be one color, 
I would continue on with another 65 rows of this color. But I want it to be reversible so that when I wear the hat and flip the cuff up, I'm going to have the pattern on the cuff. Or I could wear it the other way, have the pattern on the hat and the solid cuff. So um, what I'm doing now is adding in the variegated color uh, the same way you always add in another strand. I will crank it around a few times and then tie the two pieces in a knot. Uh, I'll show you that when I get to it. Now you can see right here where I joined the variegated with the blue and there's a big gap right here. So what I'll do is just tie these two strands in a slip knot even though I, I change my color when it's close to me, I like to wait until it's opposite me so that I can see how tightly I'm pulling these two strands so that it looks more even. That's better. It's nice and closed. Okay, I finished my big long tube. Oops. A big long tube and it still looks too long to me. I don't have any solutions. I don't have any answers. All I can tell you is that for me this has been a trial and error. That you keep trying. You keep toughing it out. Okay, I'm still trying to figure this out. That was still too big. So I noticed that when I have these center pool balls it creates absolutely no, zero, nada, tension on when you pull, you know, when you're, when you're knitting. So I think I actually got a looser weave, believe it or not. And then I also think that because this one strand is not as thick as two of those other strands, I'm not getting as tight a weave. So therefore, you can't just measure because there's a stretch factor in there as well. So now I'm, trying, I'm going to do it again. I did 65 rows last time. This time I'm going to try it at 55 rows. And let's see what I get. And when I'm talking about 55 rows, I mean in one color. That's where the fold will be. So it'll be 55 of blue, then another 55 of variegated. And we'll see what we come up with. Now, don't laugh because I'm not the best hat model in the world, but this one turned out right, finally. So, to review, you're making one long tube, you're gathering both of the ends, and then you fit one inside the other. Like this. And then turn it up. And the good thing about this is, while I did make it entirely too big before, Having a cuff does give you more um, size options, so to speak. Uh, if someone is shorter from crown to ear, then they can just roll it up a little bit more. But in my, ca my case earlier, that was just ridiculous. You were ended up folding up practically the whole hat, and that didn't work. So, the moral of the story is that in order to size your hats properly on the Addy, or I would assume any knitting machine. You have to take into consideration the yarn that you're going to use. You can double a yarn. It takes it pretty well, I think. It took it very well. Um, and again, that probably depends upon the yarn. Um, and then take into consideration the qualities of that yarn. Um, is it stretchy? Is it a tight weave? Um, you know, cottons really don't stretch that much at all. Um, you just really need to examine it and play with it. And then remember that this is an easy, fast way to make a hat. So if you mess up, no big deal. You just rip it out and start over again. So uh, we've really not lost a thing but a little time. And when it comes to machine knitting, it is a little time. <laughs> it's pretty quick. Uh, this, this whole hat took me 20, 30 minutes. I don't even know if it's that long. So um, yeah. It's just a trial and error process, I'm afraid. If anybody else knows a better way to do this, I would love to know if there's some secret formula that I'm totally overlooking. So, um, 
yeah, I guess that's all I have to say on that subject. So thanks. Hope that answers your questions, Barry. Bye.